Good morning. Today we'll be doing the liturgy of the hours morning prayer for Thursday, July 11th. We celebrate the memorial of Saint Benedict, an abbot of our church. Let's have that moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Stir up your mighty power, Lord, come to our aid. O Shepherd of Israel, hear us, who who lead with Joseph's flag, shine forth from your cherubim throne, upon your friend Benjamin Manasseh. O Lord, rise up your might, O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back, let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you crown on your people's plea? You we have fed them with tears for their bread, and an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the town of our neighbors. Our enemies love us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant, to plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it could clear the ground, it took the root and it spread through the land. The, the mountains were covered with its shadows, the cedars of God with its dwarf boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, to the great river it stretched out its shelves. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is flagged by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the crown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. 
I will give, give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me, your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name among the nations, make known His deeds, proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. Bring out your joy to God, our strength. Bring, Bring out joy to God, God, our strength. Shout in triumph to the God, God of Jacob. Praise a song and sound the trimble, the sweet sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your, your hands were freed from, from the load. You called in distress, and I saved you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud, as the waters of Meribah I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning, O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God. Who you brought, brought you from, from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes. Turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies will prince at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wit, and fill them with honey from the rack. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bring out your joy to God our strength. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today we celebrate the feast of St. Benedict. St. Benedict was a monk in the early church. Um, he was very powerful in prayer and uh, started a order of monks. Um, we have a a Benedictine cross that has Latin prayers that wards off evil and helps us to fight the enemy. And so we thank St. Benedict for what he did in his life. And we are called also to be saints. In today's reading, the Apostle Paul begs us because he knew what it was like to be in the dark and to be transformed. So he begs us, he's begging us 
to offer our bodies up as a living sacrifice. Jesus Christ gave his, his, himself up on the cross. And although we may not be martyred or crucified, we can live out our lives and have our bodies be a living sacrifice by putting aside the things that are of this world and focusing on those things that are eternal. And so he tells us, do not be conformed with the things of this age. The things of this age will pass. They'll be gone one day. But he says that we should have a renewal of our mind by putting good things in our mind. The eyes we've heard are the windows to our soul and to put good things, to watch good things, to read good things, to renew our mind so that we can align ourselves with God's will so that we may know what his will is what is good, pleasing, and perfect. Brothers and sisters, we are called to sainthood. We are called to be like Saint Benedict, and we will be attacked. But as long as we have Jesus in our life through the blessed sacraments, the Eucharist, penance, all the sacraments that we have, we can fight a good fight and know that we will always win as long as we are with Jesus Christ. So as we continue this prayer service, think about what you can do in your life to be stronger in your faith walk and be ready for those attacks. Mother Mary and the Holy Rosary is always a weapon, a strong weapon against the enemy. The, the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, being full of grace by going to confession, being in a state of grace by going to confession and also spending time during adoration with our Lord. I had a special moment last night during adoration and I just feel protected and fulfilled. And so I would be praying for you and for your faith walk and strengthen your faith walk and continue to pray for me. God bless you and have a wonderful day. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. He will never lose his way. The law of God is his guide. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the depths of his heart, the law of God is his guide. He lived a holy life, Benedict, blessed in name and in grace. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He lived a holy life, Benedict, blessed in name and in grace. My brothers and sisters, let us praise Christ, asking to serve Him and to be holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. Let us acclaim Him, Lord, Lord 
You alone are the Holy One. You desire to experience everything we experience but sin. Have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. You called us to love perfectly. Make, Make us holy, Lord Jesus. You commissioned us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Let your light shine on us, Lord Jesus. You desire to serve, not to be served. Help us, Lord Jesus, to give humble service to you and to our neighbors. You are in the form of God, sharing in the splendor of the Father. Lord Jesus, let us see the glory of your face. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. Lord, you, you alone, alone are, are the, the Holy one. one. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, we now pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, you made Saint Benedict an outstanding guide to teach men how to live in your service. Grant that by preferring your love to everything else, we may walk in the way of your commandments. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank, Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.